What's going on, everybody? It's the Blockchain Raccoon, keeping you updated with the latest cryptocurrency news and analysis. Well, folks, I just had a buddy. I just had a friend of mine sitting there. We were just doing some talking. And uh, he was talking about NetVRK. So I kind of started digging into this, and I'm like, oh, my God. This could be the next 50x metaverse coin. <laughs> this is going to make us a fortune. I mean, it, it really has the potential to do that. Because, let me tell you, man, the metaverse projects keep making people rich. And this has the potential to do that, folks. Now, metaverses are the next frontier of human exploration. And we're still early to the party. I mean... The growth is going to be exponential in the coming years when mass adoption starts rolling out with everything. I mean, we're still early to the party. I know everybody keeps saying that. But this is truly going to shape how we, you know, interact online. And this is going to further blur the line between the real world and the digital world. I mean, people are going to be spending a lot of their lives in the metaverse. It's just crazy. But when you add in virtual reality and NFTs into the mix, things get really interesting here. Now, NetVRK is an open sandbox virtual multiverse. Now, if you take it, the closest thing is Decentraland, but this has VR. It's built using the Unreal Engine, making it easy for game developers to build on it and really making the possibilities virtually endless. Now, you're going to be able to use your VR headset, but you will also be able to use your web browser on your PC. And in the future here, once they add the full support, you're going to be able to play this on your phone or a mobile device. Ugh. So this opens the possibilities because you can build or play games with the NetVRK universe or just sit back and explore and even hold business meetings in it. Yeah, this is fantastic. Now, what sets NetVRK apart is its sandbox. Here, you'll be able to change how you interact with the terrain to, to make it suit your liking, okay? You're going to be able to build structures on it, get creative, and just let yourself go, just go wild, you know, making anything that you, your heart desires or anything that you'd like, okay? Now, this level of customization here is a lot more than existing metaverses like Decentraland. Okay, so basically, when you're done building, you'll be able to take your creation, mint it into an NFT, and drop it onto your land plot you own, or just sell it to somebody else. So basically, you can make money creating these assets, but you can also create games within the ecosystem and then charge users to access them. Or you can just buy land and rent it out or sell advertising space. I mean, whatever you want to do. So, when you combine that with the play-to-earn aspects to encourage mainstream adoption, and this could really put NetVRK into the stratosphere, folks. So, I'm highly interested to see what people create and then what kind of economy develops around this. This is going to be huge. Now, you'll be able to build content by building it from scratch using the Unreal Engine or importing 3D models or 2D art or music or whatever whatever you want to import. But with them building on a mobile app where you'll be able to scan any real world item and bring it into the virtual world with you is going to be awesome. And I can't wait to see how well it works because that is going to be freaking phenomenal. Now, if we get into the tokenomics here, You know, they have, like, they got a team for 12.5% allocation and operations 5% of the coins. They got marketing 6%, advisors 4%, pre-seed sale is 6%, private. I mean, once you get into looking at this, it's pretty fantastic here. Of, you know, with the vesting schedules, I mean, this looks a little complex, but when you get into it, this is well thought out design, which makes sense considering the, they probably had a fair net VRK help design it. And this, this is fantastic, okay? 
The two main token allocations are for early growth like staking rewards and growing and improving the community, which would be absolutely essential for their success. Okay. Now the total supply is 100 million net VRK. And it's going to take three years for the full amount to be unlocked and put into circulation. Now, it's kind of hard to know the exact circulating supply, but if we do the calculations, it looks to be roughly around 55 to 60 percent of the tokens are already in circulation. With that in mind, I'm looking to invest for the long term on projects like this, okay? So, I'm looking at the fully diluted valuation as a metric for growth potential. For example, Considering I would still be holding the tokens in three years when it's fully diluted. So you got to keep a lot of things in mind here. The price is about $4.45 USD. And if we multiply that by 100 million, that puts the fully diluted valuation around $500 million. Okay. So if we take that and consider what they could grow to if they are successful and the probability of, the, of them succeeding is huge anyway. So I'm using this to make my decision, but that's one strategy. And I, of course, please do your own research, okay? Now, with the net DRK, you can use whatever cryptos you want in the marketplace, but the fees are much lower for using the net DRK token. So then there's anything else with that incentive. So that's a high incentive, okay? I'm expecting this to be the main token used within the whole economy. Plus, you can stake your net VRK tokens and earn a portion of the fees earned on the platform. I just want you to know there are currently 3.6 million net VRK tokens currently in the staking pools, which are full. All five of them are full. This should tell you something. Now we can look at partners and land sale, okay? And in order for net VRK project, I mean, for this ambitious project to be successful, they need a ton of partners who are willing to help bootstrap the metaverse by building it, which they are. Now, if you look on their website, they have over 40 of them that will have their virtual locations with the net VRK. I mean, there's just... I'm not going to even try to even list them. If you want to research this, go ahead and look on the website. You can see this. And their page isn't even all of their partners. But you can check them out on their website and the link in the description below, okay? Now, their land sale, this is a finite metaverse land ownership. This is going to be key for people to build here. There will be 15,000 parcels total. And a thousand of them will be sold during their pre-sale going on now. Okay? Now keep in mind, there are some drawbacks here. Their main competitor, Decentraland, has a huge head start already. Because Decentraland has regular events with the normal. So that's kind of set up already. We got Snoop Dogg and all these people. And it's just crazy. But they're building. We're early. Keep that in the back of your mind. There are tons of stuff to explore in games to play. There are loads of in-game items for customization that are all NFT, plus grayscale features Decentraland and created the Decentraland Trust back in March. Now, this encourages whales and institutions to get a slice of that nice little metaverse pie. Now, you know, Decentraland is kind of fun. I mean, I played around with it a little bit. But to me, it's just, I mean, it's fun. It, it's a fun little project, you know. Now, Decentraland market cap is over $6.1 billion. And their fully diluted market cap is over $7.3 billion. That makes it over 100 times bigger than NetVRK. But they're just getting started. I mean, I do hold mana. Decentraland is a fantastic project. And, um, but looking at net VRK, I think the growth potential is, it's got a lot of room to grow. I mean, it can go higher. There's a lot of potential there. And the world design of net VRK is a lot more. I, I like the way it looks, okay? And that's just me. That's my opinion, okay? 
And to me, the Genesis Islands look pretty cool. I mean, it looks a lot better than a giant square, okay? So, but that's just me. That's, I'm kind of crazy like that, you know? But, um, like I said, both of these projects will succeed. I mean, the Central Land's already highly successful. But I'm already in that. So now I'm looking to spread out more. And to me, this project, I'm in it. Okay? So, because I just feel that we're going to see a lot of potential gain here. Now, looking at other gems here, it's not a bad idea either. You know? But, like I said, I'm super excited about NetVRK. I think the general purpose metaverse has insane potential. And we, like I said before, we are still in the very early stages. And you can see it. I mean, basically the metaverse still is really not that pretty. <laughs> I think it is. It's going to be ironed out. But just looking at the visuals, how everything has improved over time and the, and the technology is just growing and the explosive growth coming in the next few years is going to be insane. And then even consider, you know, the possibilities for businesses, socialization and entertainment, gaming, education. It's just, wow. So, like I said, the project, plus what you take a look at the projected growth of VR adoption. I mean, the opportunity for all the early adopters is substantial. So like I said, I'm thinking long term here. I'm not looking at the short term little gains that we can get for things, but I'm looking for the long term. And that's where I stand. Okay? So, but I am not a financial advisor, folks. I am a little raccoon making YouTube videos about cryptocurrencies. And I appreciate every single one of you. Thanks for tuning in. History is filled with almosts. With those who almost adventured, who almost achieved, but ultimately, for them it proved to be too much. Then there are others, the ones who embrace the moment and commit. And in these moments of truth, these men and women, these mere mortals, just like you and me, as they peer over the edge, they calm their minds and steal their nerves with four simple words that have been whispered by the intrepid since the time of the Romans. Fortune favors the brave.